Both lakes and ponds are inland bodies of standing or slow moving water. Because the water is standing, it mainly gets oxygen from the photosynthesis of plants. They are a major source of fresh water. Lakes and ponds make up 2% of the world's surface water. Lakes and ponds are an important ecosystem because many different organisms rely on them. Many human beings use lakes and ponds as their source of fresh water. For these reasons, lakes and ponds should be protected. Lakes and ponds are found all over the earth. Lakes and ponds contain a diversity of organisms that perform different ecological functions. Most of the organisms found there are small and can only be seen with a microscope. These include plankton, bacteria, algae, and zooplankton. Larger lakes are able to support up to five trophic levels. The greater bladderwort is a slender plant with thread-like leaves. The stem extends up to 20 centimeters above water. This plant has yellow flowers for part of the year. Hard-stemmed bulrush is a plant with hard, round stems that narrow to a point. This is found in shallow water less than one meter deep. Cattails are one to three meters high and are characterized by the large spongy brown spike formed at the top of the stem. All of these plants offer nesting habitats for many bird species and they provide homes to juvenile fish, amphibians, and reptiles. They are also an important food source. Lakes and ponds are the home to many animals. The silver herring is an abundant species of fish that appears in the Great Lakes. It is 11 to 15 inches long and eats plankton, insects, and fish eggs. Painted turtles are another common animal found in lakes and ponds. They prefer shallow water with a muddy bottom and logs. They also hibernate by burrowing in the muddy bottoms. The redhead is a medium-large diving duck. Their nests, made of dead aquatic vegetation, are suspended above the water. The threats facing lakes and ponds are those of pollution and coastal overdevelopment. Pollution degrades the quality of the water and therefore life struggles to remain. Not only industrial pollution affects this ecosystem, fertilizer runoff is a major concern for bodies near farmlands for the reason that eutrophication may occur. Eutrophication is when the runoff creates an algae bloom. This eventually decreases the dissolved oxygen levels of the water. Without oxygen, life ceases to exist. Unseen by any